I think the scale of it responds to the drama and the scale of the scribbly gums right outside. They're really quite extraordinary trees to have in your backyard. We didn't want to repeat the, the diagram that you see all the way along the street where there's sort of big east double storey houses that build across the site from sort of boundary to boundary and effectively block off the natural um, landscape beyond from the street and sort of make a, a barrier and a wall. So effectively we turned the diagram a little bit through 90 degrees so there's no front and back here so much but it means that bedrooms upstairs instead of facing the road we've opened up little light scoops effectively which bring in the northern light and give the bush view. So we thought that was more responsive to the site. It's really about making sure that it operates on a sort of functional and casual level as much as the sort of design level. Yes, anyone who's in the kitchen can stand at that bench and really sort of feel the impact of those trees and that bush beyond. I mean, that's clear, the diagram's clear. That's obviously a part of it. But I think probably more important really is the fact that that's at the knuckle of the house and it really works quite naturally. So the little social area for the children, which is just off to the side, it's a bit separate, but the kids, young children, they're there around mum and dad nearby and as they get older there's a space upstairs where they progressively start to probably spend more and more time so I think there's a I guess a flexibility in of those spaces. The Sydney weather's amazing so you know you can slide these big doors out of the way and, it, and you know the space just sort of flows and it terraces down the steps and straight out. You'll see louvers throughout and there's little windows high level low level windows that not only bring in morning light or a little you know little last minute flash of late afternoon sun to you know brighten up the house at a different time of day but they also have ventilation so we get good really good cross ventilation it goes back up the site towards the entry and then up the stair and you know windows up the top and you really get through vent through the house so it's a healthy house it's part of the bush and you, you sort of hear all the sounds of course with it of the wind and the trees and the birds and so it's you know, it just really helps make, uh, I think, a really strong impact with, with what's around you. Bushfire zoning here is FZ. It's really the extreme rating. So the very side of the house that we wanted to open up and, and enjoy that, that natural aspect was the very side of the house that we had to actually protect the most. It means for these big glazed areas, the, our feature windows, we had to uh, really work fairly carefully to try and get the integrated fire shutters, they're hidden away. All the glass areas that are openable have to have fire resistant mesh on them. All the glaze areas have pull down shutters. So we've got effectively um, painted brick veneer sort of construction and then the upper floor is all clad in um, effectively roof sheeting. With the standing seam of that roof material, which is all of course non-combustible, when the sun shines on it, it gives a lovely shadow texture which just gives the whole facade a sort of depth and a bit of movement so as the sun moves around those shadows get longer or shorter. It's very simple, elemental, there's a, a humbleness to it. I, I think that for us, I hope, just stems from a simple response to the, um, the environment and the site, particularly those scribbly gums.